What's up, Facebook? Give me one second to set up my Zoom. And here we go. What's up, Reggie? Oh. What is going on? Oh, there we go. What's up, everybody? Ryle, I got Dave, I got Connor. How you guys doing? Good, how's the video quality? Good, good enough, it'll do. Cool. All right. Let's see, am I within camera range back here? Perfect, I got you guys on Zoom, I got you guys on Facebook Live. All right, awesome. Welcome to some more Muay Thai. If you notice, I'm not Coach Moda, Coach Dragonfly here with you guys. Uh, Coach Moda's busy right now, so um, he asked me to teach class today. I'll be teaching class today. I might be teaching class tomorrow, but it might also be Coach Moda, so we'll figure out tomorrow. And other than that, thanks for joining me, you guys. Sawadi Ka. So uh, this month online, we've been learning a lot of defenses, a lot of counters, um, a lot of shadow boxing stuff, mainly our slips, uh, our split entries, our bob and our weave, and counter punches. We can throw off those as well. So we're going to continue with that today. First off, getting a little bit of a warm up, you guys. Uh, we're starting off. We're just going to start off with the heel toe sway. So let me see if I can set my cameras up. You guys can see my feet. I'm going to be adjusting this just a little bit. There. And let me adjust this just a little bit as well without launching my camera out of the tripod. Um, close enough. I'll explain it to you guys. So check it out. I'm in my good Muay Thai stance. What my heel toe sway is going to do is notice my back foot is up. I'm on the ball of my foot, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pivot. I'm going to start rotating my hips and my shoulders, getting them all synchronized. So I'm just going to pivot to here where my shoulders and my hips have come in front. And then I'm just going to come back the other way and pivot to here. So I'm alternating from pivoting on my rear to pivoting on my lead, just going back and forth, you guys. Getting my hips lined up, getting my shoulders uh, with the motion so that way that when I'm pivoting, I got my full body behind it. So this is really good for when we're throwing strikes, you guys. This is how we generate that power, how we generate that torque and knock people out, is by pivoting on our strikes. And then as you'll notice, getting my shoulders and my hips into the motion. So just going heel toe sway. We're going for 30 seconds, just warming up those hips, just warming up that core a little bit. Going back and forth. Nice. Yep. Just good heel toe sway back and forth. Back and forth, you guys. For my Facebook Live people, I'm just pivoting rear, pivoting lead. Remember, it's like we're squishing a bug with the ball of our foot, like we're squishing a bug just in our good Muay Thai stance. Awesome. So heel toe sway, uh, very important you guys. It's very important for generating power, um, especially in our strikes, especially in our round punches, making sure we're getting our body weight behind that. So now on the slips, on the slips, we're in our good stance as always. Hands come back to the face, rest them on the cheekbones, on the forehead, your preference. Elbows coming down to the hips. It's all in the core, you guys. It's all in the core. Just slipping back and forth. So notice I'm not doing this. Like my head is getting offline. So heads offline, back and forth. 
I'm avoiding those straight punches. They're coming right past me as I go by. So just slipping. We're going 30 seconds of slipping. If you'll notice my side profile, I'm not leaning forward a bunch. I'm not leaning back when I slip. I'm still in my good stance where I would be. I get a little more rounded, and that's where I'm slipping, right here, right here. So I'm not leaning forward or leaning back on that slip. Same plane, back and forth. Awesome. All right, now on to the bob. So the bob, uh, opposite elbow to opposite knee. I'm going to get a nice little lunge as I go down and just a little crunch with the core. So I'm just coming down here, you guys. Using that heel toe sway we were practicing uh, to get that pivot, that's a good way to think about it. Start incorporating those, uh, that body mechanic into what we're doing today. So just pivoting back and forth, back and forth. 30 seconds, you guys. Good. Getting all the way down. Getting that good crunch, that good little lunge. Start activating those legs. Couple more seconds. Time. Now let's turn that bob into the bob and the weave or the roll. So, as I go down, boom, I bob down to this side. Now I'm down here. What I'm going to do is my feet are going to come back out to kind of this low squat position, but I'm still in my stance. So I don't want to be in a squat position really, but it's for my stance. Legs are still activated. I'm down here. This is where I'm going to roll under and come up. So bob, out, back up. Just bobbing under you guys, going both sides. Starting off with that heel toe sway, ending back in our good stance. Roll, roll, back and forth. Under and up, under and up. Couple more, couple more seconds. Remember, we want good strong back for this. I don't want to be hunched over as I go down. I don't want to be down here, especially in Muay Thai. We're going to be walking into a knee or a head kick. That's a bad day. So good strong back as I go down and up. Boom. In boxing, we can be a little more relaxed since we don't have to worry about that. We can just worry about punches. It's fine playing down there, but for Muay Thai, I want to be nice and tall making my bob and weaves nice and tight. So, enough with the bob and weaves. We got two more that we haven't gone over yet. We're going over the snap back and just the duck. So starting off with the snap back. All I'm gonna do, hands come in. This is for uh, straight line punches or round punches, just getting, getting away from that punch, kind of creating that distance. What I can do is either I can just pull from here I'm shifting my weight onto my back leg and I'm leaning back or I can step and pull. So I can either just pull or step and pull. And I'm just coming back like this, you guys. Just coming back like this. Tuck chin, hands up once again, just in case. Um, that way we're relying on two uh, types of defense instead of just one. So pull and step and pull, just doing both. All the way back, you guys. Boom, bang. Boom. Now, if we're doing a snap back for a head kick, this is when we'd modify it a little bit. This is when I'm really stepping and I'm dropping this hand. Boom, and coming all the way back. And I want to have my shoulder back with me. I don't want my shoulder up because the kick could still clip that skip off me. So I'm making sure I'm all the way out of the way. We get that hand out of the way because if it's hanging there and they hit that hand, I end up punching myself, I'd feel really goofy. So 
That's the snapback for you guys. Work it out a little bit. Next one, just the duck. So for this one, I'm in my stance. I'm just gonna drop my hips down like I'm doing a squat and come right back up. Just dropping my hips down and coming right back up, you guys. So down and up, down and up. Once again, good strong back. It's all in the legs. I don't wanna lean down and then come up because once again, I'm gonna find that knee very uh, flavorful. Not what I wanna do. So good squat, not good squat, but squatting with the legs a little bit, coming right back up. Down and up. Just enough to get under that punch, you guys. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, nice. All right, is everybody feeling a little warm? Yeah, we're ready? Cool. So let's review some of the stuff we worked uh, yesterday and Monday. First off, just our slip jab and our slip cross. So with this, we're throwing punches as we slip. So I'm not gonna slip jab, but I'm gonna slip and jab at the same time. Bang, right here. Boom, boom, right here, boom. Notice, I'm not doing my super tight jab where my shoulder's covering my chin, because this is the line that that punch that the opposite punch coming this way is gonna fly down. So I'm slipping either his jab or cross, depending on, this one's mostly for the jab because I can get to the inside, so I'm slipping his jab. As my jab comes out, I'm connecting with that chin. His punch is gonna fly right down this way. Over the head, once again, still tucking the chin. Other hand is up, but I'm just whoosh, slipping as I punch through his guard. Bang. Bang. Yup, yup. Nice tight slip still, but we're throwing that jab out there. Pop, pop, yeah, pop. Once again, our jab stays straight as any jab. Only difference is it's not super tight, straight line down here to the chin. It's gonna be out here. That's just because I need that space for that punch to get cleared. So here, boom, boom, boom. All right, once again, nice and straight. I don't wanna be flaring this elbow and trying to jack it in there like that. Still just a regular jab. Now onto the cross. Same concept, you guys, same concept. So this side, I'm slipping as that cross comes out. Boom, boom. Once again, using that good pivot, I wanna generate power on this. I wouldn't call it a free shot because they got their hand up, but you got a very good chance of hitting them if you put it in the right spot. So we wanna make it powerful. So as I slip, boom, I'm throwing that, pivoting. Boom, right there. Once again, just leaving that extra little gap right here for the punch to fly through. That's, the, uh, that's where I want his punch to land, is over my shoulder, all right? So it's not really hitting any target. Awesome. So those are our split entries, or uh, you'll hear them called slip jab, slip cross. Uh, same thing, unless it's specifically slip then jab. Next off, bob and weave to hooks, bob and weave to hooks. So as I bob and weave, boom, I'm coming down this way. As I come up, notice when we're coming up, which side is loaded? It's gonna be my rear side. So if I slip to my left, I'm gonna be throwing my right hook because that's the side that I loaded up as I came under right here, boom. That's my shot. Getting that good pivot, engaging those hips and those shoulders. Uh, what we want to do is really dig that hook. Bang, right there, right there, right? So as I go, boom, I come back. When I'm coming back up, so not as I go down, but I'm coming back up, whatever side is loaded, that's going to be your shot. Boom. So when I go to the right, it's going to be my lead hook. That's my punch. When I go to my left, it's gonna be my right hook. That's my punch. Just back and forth, you guys. Bang. Bang. All right. 
good power shots for you guys, especially once the guy misses. You know, he's, he's going to be like, what happened? Where'd he go? But then you come over the top, surprise. It's going to be a great day for you. Next off, uh, this is one that we haven't practiced really. It's going to be our bob to our uppercut. So instead of the bob and weave, I'm just going with the bob. So I'm coming down to this side, and I'm coming up with that uppercut. Boom, bang, right there. Boom, bang, right here. So as I go down, notice I'm really loading this side up. So if I'm taking left elbow to right knee, I'm really loading up my right side. And as I lift my body, my back foot is going to lift onto the ball of his foot. I'm shooting that hip out. My hand stays in and tight until I reach that target. Come right up the middle, you guys. Once again, down, up. I don't want to be coming down and really, you know, trying to Falco punch this guy into oblivion. I'm going to leave myself very open. We call it scooping. I don't want to scoop this hook or this uppercut. I want to make it nice and tight. It stays next to my chin or on my cheek until I'm going to connect with his jaw. So we're going both sides, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. I really like this shot off of straight punches, you guys, especially that jab. If I can bob it, coming back with that uppercut. Or that cross, I can bob it, coming back with that uppercut. Just like that. So, those are our three um, shots off of our body mechanics, or our three main shots that we're working this month. So we got the slip jab, slip cross. We got the rolls to hooks. Boom, just letting your, really, your body weight carry you into that. And then we got our bobs to uppercuts. So, starting off with our first little combo, you guys. We're gonna get into a little combo. Um, Every, we're going to do it for three minutes. I'm going to be doing it uh, here with you guys. Every minute, we're going to drop down, do 10 squats. Um, I don't really have a, a clock around me. I'll use my sundial, but uh, I'll be calling it out. So just listen to me. Every minute, we'll be doing 10 squats. Combo starts out like this. So I'm going to slip left. I'm going to slip right. I'm going to come split entry jab, split entry cross. I'm going to bob and weave, rear hook, bob and weave, lead hook. Once again, slip left, slip right, split entry, jab, split entry, cross. Then I'm going to bob and weave, rear hook, bob and weave, lead hook. One more time for you guys. Actually, I'll be doing it with you guys. We're just shadow boxing version. So remember, breathing, moving around. If you guys have any questions, speak up. But uh, let's get this three minutes started, all right? So, ready? Let's go. So once again, slip, slip, split entry, split entry, bob and weave, hook, bob and weave, hook. So just back and forth, you guys. Bang, 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 bang. Just moving around once again. I'm not staying in one spot. I'm moving around, I'm changing my angles, I'm seeing where the guy's at, and then I'm hitting my combo. Still using our body mechanics, making sure I'm doing my heel toe sway. Boom, boom. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. 10 squats, 10 squats. Awesome. Right back to your combo when you're done, right back to the combo. Remember, throw some of your other basic defenses in there in between combos, in between throwing. That way we're simulating them hitting back.
If you'll notice, I'm making my own sound effects. It's just like I'm hitting pads, you guys. Try it out. Try it out. Slip, slip. Ten squats. Ten squats. Nice, making sure we're getting all the way down, all the way back up on our squats. Right back to the combo, last minute, you guys, last minute. Split entry, split entry, bob and weave hook, bob and weave hook. A couple more, we're almost to our third set of squats. Boom. Bang, bang. All right, 10 squats, where you're at. Awesome, awesome. So enough of that combo. We got one, two more, we got one more combo, and then we're just gonna do like an open shadow boxing. Um, I'm gonna shadow box. You guys are gonna shout a box. I'm gonna call it out. But let's go on to the second combo first before that. Starting off, I'm going slip, slip, roll, roll. Then I'm gonna go bob lead uppercut, bob rear uppercut. So it's slip, slip, roll, roll, bob uppercut, bob uppercut. Just back and forth, you guys. Starting our three minutes once again. 10 squats every minute, I'll be calling it out. Let's go. Remember to breathe, you guys, remember to breathe. Slip, slip, roll, roll, bob, uppercut, bob, uppercut. Slip, slip, roll, roll, bob, uppercut, bob, uppercut. Making sure our uppercuts are still nice and tight to our body. I'm not doing any of this crazy, trying to dig under the ground kind of shot. So nice and tight to the face until I touch his face. Boom. Slip, slip, roll, roll, bob. Nice tight uppercut. Nice tight uppercut, you guys. 10 squats, 10 squats. Where you're at. All the way down, all the way up. Right back to the combo when you're done. Slip, slip, roll, roll, bob, uppercut, bob, uppercut. Back and forth, guys. One of the things we're focusing on a lot with these combos, keep going if you're still throwing, keep going. One of the things we're focusing on a lot is our body mechanics. It's very body mechanic heavy. So make sure we're doing those proper form just like we'd make sure we're doing our punches proper form, you guys. So keep going if you're going. I'm just talking about it. Uh, another 10 squats right now, you guys. Another 10 squats. Back to the 
the combo when you're done. Just finishing out this last minute, and then we're moving on, you guys. Bang, bang. All right, I'm gonna watch you guys for just a couple seconds, see where you guys are at. So keep throwing. Nice, Ryle. Bob's look good. Nice tight slips, Dave. I like it. Yes. Awesome. You guys are looking great. All right, 10 squats. 10 squats. For my Facebook Live crew, I wish I could... Uh, Check you guys out while you're working out with me, but I can't. So film yourselves doing curriculum, stuff like that. Send it into our Facebook Live. Uh, coaches would be happy to answer any questions, uh, do any critiques if you want. Just let us know. Awesome. Moving on. Last little three-minute round of shadow boxing. Uh, open shadow box, you guys. So whatever you want. If you got room for just boxing, that's fine. If you got room for full Muay Thai, that's fine. Um, rule is every time I call it out, I'm going to say go. We're going to throw straight, uh, 10 straight punches in the air, followed by bob and weave, bob and weave. So it's going to be 10 straights and then bob and weave, bob and weave. Just like that on my go. So open shadow boxing starting in three, two, one, let's go. And go. And right back to shadow boxing when you're done. Go. If you got room to work all your tools, go for it. Remember, all your offensive and defensive tools, be it your covers, double pillars, your shields, your catches. If you're going to work those catches, remember, hit off that or sweep off that. That way we're ingraining that into our mind. And 10 straight, bob and weave, bob and weave, go. Yeah, right back to shadow boxing. Boom. Pop, pop, pop. Hey, 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 h
Hey. 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 Uh, go! Ten straights, go! Awesome. Time. Time. All right, what time is it? What do we have? Can't tell there. Perfect. So, we got a couple more minutes. We're gonna run through our little fitness test. Um, I might have to hop around, grab myself a nice little timer because my phone and computer are taken up at the moment. So give me one second while I track that down. Find yourself a nice space. I am on these hardwood floors, but I'll be doing it with you guys. Uh, so give me one second, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. It looks like uh, we're gonna be doing burpees and squats and push-ups for as long as I tell you guys to do burpees and squats and push-ups. So, I'll be calling it out. Um, once again, we're starting with burpees. Let me adjust this for you guys. Burpees, chest comes down to the floor. I drop down, touch the chest, that's the first thing. I push myself back up, feet under my body, and I'm gonna jump, okay? so. Find yourself a nice little spot. We're starting with burpees in 10 seconds, you guys. Once again, chest to the mat, shoot right back up. Chest to the mat, shoot right back up. Or the hardwood floor, whatever you got. Three, two, one, let's go. Remember to breathe, halfway there. Time. Uh. Keep counting whatever you had. I lost track of mine. I was trying to count a minute in my head. Did not work well, but I think I got pretty close to the mark. Whew. Got a minute rest. Hanging out. I haven't done burpees like that in a couple weeks, so I'm a little winded, which is good. All right, I'd say 20 more seconds, about until we gotta go into squats. Remember, all the way down, 
all the way up. We want our knees behind the toes, good strong back. Squats in three, two, one, let's go. Halfway there. Last one is push-ups. If you got a glove, drop it down for your chest. That way you're touching, you know, you know you got the, you know you're going all the way down. If you don't have a glove, grab something small. I'll just use this little anchovy jar. And uh Touch the chest. All right, we got like, I don't know, 30 more seconds, just about. Nice little rest period for you. Burning out these last couple of minutes. All right. Let's go, let's do it. One minute starting now. Remember, don't drop down to your knees. If you're resting, you're resting in high plank position. Nice, 20 more seconds. Time. All right. Well, push-ups are the bane of my existence, you guys. So that was a lot of fun. Thanks for joining me, both on Zoom, on Facebook Live. Thank you, guys. Um, this wouldn't happen without you guys, so uh, glad you guys are here. Glad I get the opportunity to coach you guys still. So we are going to finish it out, feet together. So I count. Thanks for coming, you guys. Thanks for coming. All right. Thanks, coach. Of course, Dave. Thank you.